Welcome to Willard Public Library's Virtual Crafter Noon. On this episode, we will be making easy and beautiful watercolor doodle bookmarks. Craft kits for this project are available at the Adult Services Desk at Willard Public Library while supplies last. In this video, we will be using two plastic bookmark covers, two pieces of watercolor paper cut to size, one simple watercolor palette with a brush, one ultra fine tip Sharpie marker, a couple of tassels, a small cup of water, and paper towels. Start by placing your watercolor bookmarks on a paper towel, then grab your palette and dip your brush into some water. Keep in mind during this project that there is no right or wrong way to watercolor paint. The technique that I'm using here is to just add plain water to your bookmark to start. Then you can add the pigment later. I'm planning to do a bit of an ombre effect um, with colors blending together. So I'm starting out with blue, then I'm adding a bit of yellow, and you'll see that green appear in the middle. I am also choosing to paint in the middle of the bookmark and leave the edges white. Um, this is my personal preference. You don't have to do yours the same way. If you don't want your colors to blend, remember to dip your brush into the water and use that paper towel to dry it off before choosing a new color. Just a quick and probably obvious tip for water coloring. When you want to lighten up your color, add a little bit of water. When you want to darken it, add paint. Once you have finished painting and you like the way your bookmarks look, set them aside to dry for at least 10 minutes. Now that my bookmarks have completely dried, I am ready to grab my Sharpie marker and start doodling. This is where you can let your imagination run wild. There are no rules whatsoever. Draw whatever you like.
be sure to add your initials or signature to the bottom of your masterpieces and then slip those bookmarks into the plastic bookmark covers for protection. For the final step, loop your bookmark tassel through the hole at the top of the plastic cover and then pull the tassel through the loop, just like this. Now you have a beautiful and functional piece of unique art. Enjoy!